Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are going to be building a new pond. You can see we have this wet hole here. We got some ruts formed already. This ground is good for nothing else, so why not put a pond in? So to start the day out, we're going to be removing this little poplar tree here. And we're also going to cut down these four little pine trees in this corner. For the dike, we're going to basically run it flush with this rock we have here. You can see this rock. This is going to be a big diked pond. It's going to go basically over to where the excavator is sitting. And it's going to go just past this group of big pine trees here. We're not going to touch the pine trees. Hopefully they survive. And then of course we have to remove these pine trees here. So it's kind of hard to tell what the dike is going to look like right now. But once we get some dirt pushed up, you guys will really be able to tell how it's going to be shaped. We'll have some swoops in it, some turns. It'll be a really unique dike. So before we get to that, let's get these pine trees removed, everything cleaned up, and we'll get the topsoil stripped, and then we'll be ready to go. All right, so let's get the excavators started up and uh, get them pine trees removed. Alright, now that we got these down, we're going to grab onto them with the excavator and go and stage them up. Right over there, kind of, right over by that one willow tree. We're going to get them staged up and then we're going to get rid of these things. We're also going to start stumping these things because the dike is going to be right about where the tips of the, or about where the tips of these trees are. So unfortunately we have to stump those stumps, otherwise they're going to be in the pond and that can affect how your dike works so we'll have to get rid of them so unfortunately i lost some of the footage of us cleaning up these trees and stumping them so for the next few minutes you're going to see us do the rest of the cleanup including removing the poplar tree and then i'll show you us shoving the pine tree stumps over to a trailer and then we'll load them up into a trailer so stay tuned to see that.
So the stump that you see the bulldozer pushing belongs to one of the pine trees. We're also going to push a couple more of these over and then we're going to go ahead and load them up with the excavator into a trailer. Alright, so all the pine trees and brush are cleaned up. We're going to hook onto them with a tractor and drag them back in the woods, but as you can see where the pond is going is all cleaned up and ready to go. Just got done loading the trailer up, the stumps. So now we're going to start stripping topsoil. You can see him over there, he's already starting to strip it, but not sure where we're putting the piles yet. I'm sure he decided where, but. So yeah, let's get started on this topsoil. All right, we're back. It's kind of windy today. The excavator guy got here before me. He's starting to dig a keyway. I'll show you what that is. Basically along the bottom of the dike, we dig a trench with the excavator and then we go back through and fill it in with the same dirt. The reason why we do this is it stops any water from like leaking under the dike. If you're trying to build a pond, it's definitely a good idea to consider one of these. It almost guarantees that your pond won't leak and it's proven that it works. So it's worth it. We do it for every pond that we build really easy to do you just dig a trench you can do it with a bulldozer or an excavator and then I'm gonna go back through and just push all this dirt back into the hole and it'll seal under the dike so I'm gonna hop on the dozer get that thing fueled up and we'll get started
All right, the keyway is filled in. You can see how this dike is kind of gonna snake around all these trees all the way over by the excavator. Got this filled in a little. So now we're gonna take the dozer and just keep on shoving up. We're gonna start to build the dike and really widen, widen all this dirt out up here. He's over there doing the same thing. Just digging a hole and throwing it up on the dike so that I can get the dozer up on top of the dike and start to get flattened out. You can see here he's taking all the material from this area here, just throwing it right up on top of the dike. We got to be careful because right where that telephone pole is, there's a property line, so we have to stay away from that. So we're just building the dike from there with that pile he's got there this way. And then here's the edge that we're going to kind of follow on this upper side. We won't need a dike here because it's this is about what the water level is going to be all the way across. So we got to bring that dike up to whatever this what we got formed here is we got some flags so I'm gonna jump on the dozer and we'll get started on getting this dike formed To build the pond dike, we needed to use a bunch of material from the inside of the pond. So here's a time lapse of us getting this dike formed. So now we're moving all that material that we got from that corner where the dozer is. We're just 
just throwing it right up on top of the dike. This is the last material that we're going to be getting from the inside of the pond. We have plenty of material outside to do final grade. Right now, he's just on the dozer. Just getting it trapped, the bottom of the pond trapped in. All right, so he's doing the last little bit of throwing material up on the dike. And it's kind of windy right now, so my audio might be bad, but I'm gonna take the dozer and really start to get the final grade on this. I just use a transit and I have to take a little bit off of here, a little bit off of there. So I'm just gonna really start getting this pushed over, get the final grade on it. You can see here the transition we got kind of transition the dike as best as we can right into the grass there here we're trying to avoid these trees but I think they might be doomed all right so I'm gonna jump on the dozer and we'll see if we can get the final grade set see we got this tracked in pretty good this is all level I just transited it we're all good right through here all the way to the dozer we're good we're about to skim some skim some dirt off right in that area we're a little high about six to eight inches high and then I'm gonna go take the dozer and get this entire side basically smoothened out so you can easily walk on it might even get it smooth enough so that you can get the lawnmower on it maybe about this pitch that we have right here once we're done with that we're gonna go through we'll have the dike set and we're gonna take the excavator bucket and smooth in the inside of dike out because we decided to go with a super steep inside dike the reason why we did this is because if we would have kind of had a gradual dike where the dozer could drive up on this pond would have been super small. So he's in the excavator right now. Let's get this side peeled off and uh, get it tracked in.
right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to smoothen the sides out. Since we can't do it with the dozer because they're super steep. So we're just going to position the excavator sideways with this wall. Basically just take the dirt All right, so we just got the excavator out of the bottom of the pond. We are done taking machines into the pond. We actually finished everything on the inside of the pond. Now we're gonna start putting topsoil on. You can see him feeding some up on the dike from that pile we made. We also have a little bit in here that we've already done off camera. So basically we gotta start right over there, get topsoil all over into here. We'll be using the excavator dozer and the scoop tractor so yeah let's get started on this topsoil and hopefully the grass will grow Alright, so we got all the topsoil cleaned up and spread out all the way to right about here where the dozer is. It's actually turned out pretty nice. Should grow some grass. 
Now we're gonna work on getting it right in this curvy section of the dike where it kind of snakes around these trees. So we got all the topsoil spread out and tracked in all the way across the pond. It's looking pretty good. With all the topsoil spread out, this pond is complete. Seems to be holding water already. This dike is exactly how we wanted it. We'll get some grass planted on this thing and it'll be beautiful. So with that being said, let's take a look at how we did. So with everything done on this pond, we'll probably throw some grass seed down in the next couple days. And in probably about a year or so, I'll make another video to show the final results. 
because we get some grass on this and this thing fills up it'll just be beautiful completely change this whole area so I hope you guys like the video we'll make another video in about a year to show you what this turned out to be thanks for watching and we'll see you next time